Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is my list of 12 creatures from WoW that I think should be made into mounts. There's no real reason to think that these will happen, but there's also no reason to think that they won't. All of the models are in the game already, so I can dream. Number 12, bunnies. This is a favorite of mine. In pets, we've got dust bunnies, pink egg bunnies, bloody murder bunnies, and celestial bunnies. So when do we get a big bunny that we can ride around on? Rabbit's got a model update in Legion, and they're looking extra cute now. Slap a saddle on a big bunny, and my gnome will ride nothing else for months. I could totally see this being a Kirin Tormount as a sort of failed mage experiment dealio. Anyways, I want it. Give me a bunny. Number 11, Blighthawks. Remember these things? They're all over the Plaguelands. They could reuse the animations and even the base model of the Raven class Mount Rogues are getting, and just give it a bandagey, skinless uh, skin. Imagine how cool you would look as an undead flapping around on a Blighthawk. If they ever added racial flying mounts, they could totally give these to undead, and as an alliance, I would be super jealous. Number 10, crabs. On a basic level, crabs aren't that exciting, but think of all the model variants that we already have. We have moonshell crabs, ghost crabs, big armored stabby crabs, and I could have sworn that somewhere there was a crab holding a fork. My idea here is that they could be a combo land swimming mount that does normal ground mount speed on land and then swimmer mount speed underwater. Maybe it could even do ground mount speed on the ocean floor. I think the whole idea has a lot of potential and I hope that one day we meet our crabby steeds. Number nine. Moths. So back at the racial flying mount idea, Draenei would totally rock moth mounts. I'm a little shocked that we have 70,000 different moth battle pets and not a single moth mount. It would be cool if they left colored dust behind their wings like the Fey Dragon does, and they'd be pretty in armored or unarmored versions. Maybe the model looks weird when blown up that big, but I think they'd be nice. Number eight, sheep. This is another species of critter that got a model update in Legion, and they look great now. They're so fluffy. They've already got fantastic idol animations, and as long as they don't look too weird running, I think it'd be awesome. We already have goats and a rooster mount, so I don't think sheep are that much of a stretch. Number seven, turkeys. The Pilgrim's Bounty Holiday already gives us a rockin' turkey pet. How cool would it be to find a big one that we can ride? It could be a Pilgrim's Bounty quest to go looking for a legendary giant turkey that turns out to be a holiday world boss who either drops or has a chance to drop a giant turkey mount. Yeah, it would look kind of goofy, but if you take all the goofy mounts out of WoW, then I don't want to play anymore. Number six, a mecha spider tank. So this sounds kind of wacky, but Trade Prince Gallywix already has one. I've been looking for a good excuse to go take that guy out and stealing his ride is as good as any. He's not a very nice dude, so by video game rules, we can totally take his stuff. There's a whole host of different mech mount ideas beyond the Sky Golem and Mechanos Riders we have now, but I really like the spider tank. If we ever get to fight Trade Prince Gallywix in a raid, he better drop his mount. Number five, gargoyles. I don't think we've seen these recently since the Legion brought out those big crazy fell screamer things. The Legion definitely used them back in the attack on Hyjal, so maybe they just retired. Or maybe they retreated from the Legion and formed their own faction. Maybe in patch 9.3 one day, we grind rep with a coalition of gargoyles all Claxi style, and then they grant us their firstborn to fly around as mounts. Weirder things have happened. Number four, fireflies. After way too many hours spent grinding for the firefly pet in Outland, I thought I'd never want to see one again. Well, times change. I'm a big fan of smaller flying mounts that don't completely block out the sky with their wingspans. Firefly mounts would be super cute. The wing animation might be a bit spastic on a fully grown sized firefly, but I bet that could be sorted out. Number three, deer or gazelles. Not like the new baby deer pets we got in Legion with the giant eyes. I have a feeling those would be terrifying if they were huge. I'm talking a rideable version of the unarmored doe model. The gazelle is a very similar idea and they could potentially be horde alliance counterparts. The moose mounts and stag druids are a step in the right direction, but I'm looking for something just a little bit more delicate. I think deer would make great sense as a ground mount, and I would love to see that added to the game. Number two, a scraps style skelly dog. Getting scraps as a new battle pet in 7.2 was the birthday present I never knew I wanted. He's ferocious and frightening, but at the end of the day, he's still a puppy. The model seems very similar to the Legion Collector's Edition Fellstalker mount, and I think a lot of the same animations could be used. It'd be cool to see more skelly dogs make it into the game as mounts, maybe even in a variety of colors. 
Finally, my personal top pick for WoW creatures that should be mounts, spore bats. Bias alert, I friggin' love spore bats. Back in the day before pets were account wide, I'd stall out for weeks in Zangermarsh on every character I ever leveled, grinding Sporagar rep for the spore bat pet. Something about their little spoon shaped wings and tail bloobles just does it for me. I figure you could fly around on top of one a lot like a nether ray. They're just so soothing and I hope one day we get a chance to collect more of them. Or they could make a spore bat plush. I don't know how the poor little guy would sit up, but we could make it happen. So those are my top picks for wow creatures that I'd like to see as mounts. They seem to add mounts to the game at a pretty good rate, so I think there's definitely hope for at least some of these. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Please consider leaving a like if you liked it and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.